Hi, welcome back guys. Today I am back with another new video. In this video, I will discuss with very interesting SQL problem. So please watch this video at the end. You will learn lots of things. So let's begin the video. So basically I have two questions. First discuss the question number one. Question number one is write a SQL query to calculate the rolling sum of orders of each product order by sold date. Okay, so basically I have one sales table. So if I run sales table, so here you can see that this is my entire data set. So in the entire data set having total four column, product ID, product name, price and sold date. Okay, sold date basically is the ascending order. If not ascending, you can use ascending order. Okay, so here you can say product ID one and two. Basically I have total two product. So I have to find the rolling sum uh, of each product okay an order by sold it so how i can solve this problem so so i have to use select star from sales table okay i have to use one more time select star from sales table okay so i have to use here window function okay so i have to use sum of sum of column name column name is the price sum of column name is the price and i have to use window function so i have to use over clause and over clause so basically i have to find the each product okay so basically this one is one product and this is the another product so i have to use partition so this one is the one partition and this one is the another partition okay so i have to use partition partition by product id or we, we can use product name also because both are the distinct okay so i have to use here example product underscore id and i have to use here order by sold date sold date and i have to keep alias as uh, rolling sum rolling sum rolling sum from sales table so if i run this query so here you can see that i'll get the expected output so product id one mouse uh, first is the 150 so i'll getting 150 so next product will come so 150 plus 145 i'll getting 295 so 295 plus 280 i'll get the 575 until i get uh, 840 75 plus 150 i'll getting 1025 so this one is the done and now go with the priority two so 350 is the first uh, first order price okay selling price 350 so i'll getting the 350 so 350 plus 380 is the 730 730 plus 390 i'll get the 1120 and 1120 plus 400 i'll get the 1520 okay now go with the question number two Question number two is the write a SQL query to calculate the rolling sum of order for each product over the current date and two preceding date. Okay, so what saying that this question? So I have to use here uh, like uh, sum of uh, sum of uh, price. Okay, sum of uh, order of each product over the current date, over the current date and two preceding date. Suppose example, if I am here, so I have no preceding. So this is the first order in the by uh, ascending order date is the first January 2025. So is rolling sum will be 150. So if I here, so I'll getting only one preceding. So I'll getting 145 plus 150. Okay. Suppose example I am in here. So I I have two preceding is there. So 280 plus 145 then 150. So I'll getting the entire sum. Suppose if I am here, so I'll getting is the current row and two preceding. So these three. Suppose if I'm here, I'll getting the this three. And if I go example product two, if I'm here, I have no preceding, so I'll getting only 350. Okay, so I have to show you how I can solve this problem. Same, I have to use select star from sales table. Sales table, and I have to use here sum of sales, sum of sorry, sum of price, sum of price, and I have to use window. So I have to use here over. And I have to use partition by because I have two product ID. So two product different. So I have to use here over partition partition by product underscore ID product ID. And I have to use here order by also what I need order by sold date sold date sold date. But here I have to use one more condition. So this is the tricky part. I'll show you that. So I have to use a new line. So I have to, I can use here also rows, rows between, rows between. So I have to use the rows between is the windowing function, rows between. And what I keep, I have to give the two preceding. So I need two rows before that, two preceding, two preceding and 
current row okay to proceeding as as rolling sum rs okay what happened i have to use the partition by product id so this is the one partition this is the another partition and order by sold date ascending order by default is the ascending i can use here ascending also okay so rows between two preceding and current row see so if i run this query so here you can see that for product id one uh mouse 150 so only have one product so i'll get in the 150 if i'm here so i have one only one product preceding so 140 plus 145 plus 150 equals 295 suppose if i'm here is the third one so 280 i have two preceding are there so 280 plus 145 plus 150 so i'll getting the 575 suppose i am here 300 so two preceding are there so i'll taking these three rows okay suppose i am here 150 so i'll taking the 280 300 150 i'll get in the 730 suppose if i am here is the product 2 i have only one so i'll get the 350 Suppose if I'm here 380, so I'll getting the two only one preceding, so I'll taking only one preceding 730. If I'm here 390, so I'll getting the two preceding and current row 1120. And suppose I'm here two uh, 400, 390, and 380. So these three will be 1170. Suppose question will be changed. Suppose example question will be uh, product over the current uh, current date and two following. Suppose example if I'm here, so two this one okay to this one what i have to do i have to change only so i have to simply copy this one okay so if i run so what i have to do solid uh, order by sold date and rows between what i need i have to use here example current row current row and example two following two following okay so if i run so here you can see that so if i'm here 150 so two following so 150 is the current row and two following so i'll getting the 575 suppose if i'm here so i'll take this row and this row so i'll get in the 725 suppose if i'm here 280 so i'll take here 280 300 plus 150 i'll getting 730 suppose if i'm here so i have only one following so 300 plus 150 equals to 450 if i'm here i have no following so i have only 150 same as it is for product 2 also so i hope you understand this video if you like this video please hit the like button if you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye